I would say I started playing basketball around the age of six or seven. I played in a, um, a little, basically like a little rec league in Georgia where I'm from. I actually, I actually don't know. I used to be a three-sport athlete. I used to run track, play football and basketball, but over the years, I just started growing into basketball and I started putting my main focus on basketball. I would say that my dad inspired me to play basketball because he was always like, when, when I was growing up, I watched him play. Like He played in the YMCA men's league, and so I used to always go to the games and just watch him play, and then he just put a basketball in my hand. And then ever since then, you know, I just fell in love with it. Currently, one of them would be Derrick Rose because he's my favorite point guard in the league. Whenever he's playing, I like the way he plays as far as like playing explosiveness. You know, he know how to attack his attack his man, run his team. Uh, I like Kobe also because Kobe, you know, he just has that winning mentality. Like he knows when to take over the game. I'm trying to like you know get that a part of my game. You know, that would be. And then my favorite college player right now currently would have to be a player called Ryan Brown. He, um, he's a guard at the University of Miami, number 15. And he's really my favorite guard because we're from the same place, so he was somebody to look up to as I was coming up. The recruiting process, it was real, it was real tough. Like, I went from playing with a team called D12 Warriors in 10th grade. It was like a real, real high major D1, um, not D1, but a real high major AAU team. You know, we had a couple players on our team that was getting highly recruited. I think that's when I first started getting noticed. And then last year, I um, played with a team called Q6. And then, you know, we went to a couple of tournaments, you know, uh, started getting recruited by a couple of high major schools, a couple of mid majors. Eventually, I ended up choosing Wofford College that's in Spartanburg, South Carolina. I, um, I would say I had to choose them because they, the coaching staff, you know, they reminded me of the coaching staff here at Bartow. Like, you know, it wasn't just one coach recruiting me. Like, the whole coaching staff would text me, like, throughout the week. Like, sometimes I get two text messages from each coach a day. You know, just simple stuff like, hey, how you doing? How's school going? How's your mom doing? How your dad doing? You know, just asking me questions simple like that. You know, and then when I took the visit up there, the place was just beautiful. Like, it was, you know, the people, they friendly. The team, you know, they all you know, laid back and, you know, they know how to have fun and stuff like that. And so basically it just reminded me so much of Bartow to where I was just like, this, one, this must be the place for me. Only God really knows what the future holds. Hopefully, you know, it's in his will that I get to go to college, you know, pursue my dreams in playing basketball. Um, I plan on getting a major in uh, computer science, you know, so hopefully after that, I can, you know, do something with that whenever basketball is over for me. I would say it would have to be maintaining the 3.8 grade point average. Like my ninth grade year, I thought it was gonna be the hardest year since my first year of high school, but I actually had a 4.0. And then like over time, like I just like, just try to keep it at least over a 3.6. You know, I just like, you know, put my main focus on that and then basketball, you know, so I would have to say that. I got a lot of people I listen to. I'll say some of them would probably be J. Cole, Lil Wayne, um, Wale, uh, Rich Homie Kwan, um, Yo, got it. Just, it's just a whole bunch of people. Free throws. I tried to imitate um, Ryan Brown's uh, routine. I mean, like, it's not exact, but it has some similarities as far as like how many dribbles he take. You know, the spins that he use. Um, other than that, I just try to go out there and just play hard the whole time. My best friend would have to say that I'm a funny guy. I'm real cool to be around. Like, I'm, I may be quiet, but you know, like, whenever I know you and the real me come out, then you know, you have a real good time being around me. I like to joke around, you know, just have fun, you know, just live my life, basically. I would say the one word to describe me would be driven, because no matter how many accomplishments I make, I'm always striving to be better. Like, if anybody can just come up to me and say, hey, you're a real good basketball player, you know, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to take the credit, I'm going to say, hey, thank you, you know, but in my head, I'm always thinking, hey, there's always room to improve. Got to get better every day, and I'm not going to be satisfied until I'm where I'm at.